Hello my friends and this is a episode because uh, a lot of players have contacted me I'm making this one they want me to cover the politics some of them saying you are a, you have to come and do your propaganda videos or report on the map in GC10 so this is global conflict 10 map and I want to report to you first of all I want to say I don't want to play this game uh, until next year so I'm trying to talk to my friends in Monday to with Manhattan Project to just let me go somehow. I'm still waiting for them to reply. They said you can go and peace with the French in Monday too, but I said I, I'm not seeing it necessary because I'm not going to play, so um, I don't need to also talk about peace with them. You just won my villagers or I should just ID them until the end of the map. So anyways, that's me. I don't have enough time, sadly, for playing this lovely game which we all suffer together but I will report about GC10 because this is a kind of expectation from the community and I really value my community so not my community the game community so I will cover the map and I, I'll give my ideas and then record the map as we go just like GC9 I put a card on top of the screen you can see how did I do it in GC9 and it will be like that and also I will cover some other news like uh, rumors and other stuff that going on about the bots or other stuff or firefly stuff or anything that, like that in these videos any news I'm going to cover here so I'm going to make a new playlist and then name it a stronghold kingdom news and just put these videos in the playlist for future reference and I'm going to hashtag them and this is going to be hashtag one and that's all you, you need to know about the making of these videos anyways I come to the map and then the first thing I noticed I was searching some familiar names and one of them is uh, Gochikan uh, Gochikan is a member of the house 19 in GC9 which is which I call the Russo-Chinese alliance and he is here now in a one-man show and then he has attacked uh, this is Lord, Lord Emilio he must probably have taken over Lord Emilio's uh, liege lord village and then he raised a village here and then here Typhus or Typhus is trying to raise him and he is fighting already. He's an earl. Lord Emilio is a page. Uh, Typhus is a baron. So by this, I can say that House 14 is sort of the remnants of the previous House 10, 11 alliance. And you can see House 10 here again controls this area. Uh, you can see who is the. King Meng Mengda is the king of uh, these countries around here. This Tashkent, this Dushanbe, and Meng Mengda is the Dushas. So again, the their plan is the same. They have taken over Central Asia, a lot of land around here, and then they have taken over China from there. Soon China will be black. So House Ten is the sort of official. Uh, Shinka is also here, Homeland Defense uh, is here, this is the previous House 19 people here doing the same thing and of course when you are successful in a map you want to do it again. Then here we have the Russians in House 1, obviously they love the color, it's very, the, the color is very like uh, Soviet so they like it and we water strong this time is leading house one this is mostly russians i can go to this faction and you can see a lot of them here uh this is eastern roman empire i don't i know his name i am not very familiar with the other names but like you can see russian flags and uh, of course celeric celeric is written here then we're going to see the who is in Americas? They're not. They're just to themselves. Is Dylan A. 
anarchy. So America is taken by anarchy. Aromas is sort of anarchy architects and <laughs> anyways here where I am is controlled by house 12 not any other place you can see them in the map Australia is green in the farmers and the name of the factions in the house is hey come on the name of the faction is Australia of H4 defense so the farmers are in Australia this is the this is the Indonesian writing, Dunya, pra, Prajuri Dunya. So these are Indonesian, Muhammad Mufti, Mufid, and uh, this is all Indonesian. This is great to see an Indonesian faction in Australian uh, house. In general, seeing any Indonesian faction, I really hope they do well. Indonesian have a very uh, huge population and of course a very uh, strong gamer base, they're very good people. And lovely people then we have here in India who is these people let's see who controls India uh, okay uh, let's see who is in this who controls the king seat Marilyn Anne is controlling the king seat I don't think he is an Indian well, I think he just popped here and he's going to have problem with the locals of obviously unless he make a deal with them they control all these areas Bangladesh so India is here then uh, you can see Brazil and South America is in the hands of house 10 and house 1 which I think they are going to have no problems uh, coexisting with each other they are doing the same thing in house in GC9 and then let's see who is in house 15 life is life la 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 and then coin key life faction uh, i don't know about these people uh this is a familiar name let's see if i can find a familiar name here mm. maybe new accounts for old gamers i'm not sure look at these guys Okay, this is a very disturbing picture here and so that's house 15 and then house one i the last game normally french like this color but i'm not sure who is now here i'm king pr i'm king pr is a known player 101 usp is a russian i think yeah, there is another Russian here, so it must be Mix. I'm King PR is the Marshal. Uh, Homeland Defense 2 is here. So this is a extension of a House 1, I think, it seems. So House 14 is actually surrounded by players who don't like them. They are very marginalized and I don't think they can mm, put up a show in this map. Then uh, yeah, that's the major houses. Who who is in Japan? Newton. Okay. Machalan. Yeah, you can see the names. This is a. Uh, this was in Monday 3, he was a house marshal, Fernando, he, I think he's a Spanish guy, let's see where he spawned. He is here in Germany, this is definitely German. So, Austria I think might be the Germans, I'm not sure, don't. Austria, yeah, these are Germans. Austrian defense, Deutschen. Okay, this is German. So the German is house three. They are here in Italy. They are trying to create a Holy Roman Empire here in the middle of Europe. And okay, we we address the elephant in the room. If you come here, house seventeen is winning, and then here is free Palestine. 
with Captain Clan leading it and it is the rank 1 in the game meaning they have the most points they have 187 points which is the most points at the moment and we have the free palestine people here and as reality shows also they are controlling these areas and also they are present in europe which is uh normal and here we have aldrin from which brothers in arms let's see burjalair might be turkish so yes house 17 is at the moment leading you can see the players uh Kasfal is iranian and Hassan is iranian this is another as must be might be turkish with this share here so who else is here? What I see in the map is that the previous alliance of House 10 and House 11 and House 10 in the previous map, which was House 10 in the end, there's nothing left of them. They're just like these pockets. They are trying to hold land here. And even though very early in the game, day 14, uh, the they are being attacked by a Gochi Khan. I think he's very vengeful towards them and Lord Emilio which is a page now uh, he didn't take it very seriously he didn't spend a lot of cards he's not even a faction leader or, a, or an officer here and let's see how 14 what is left of the previous game and yeah And here we have the rest. So my previous faction leader, let's search and see where he is. Uh, this is Said Hossein. My previous faction leader is here in Brazil and then he's not in a house. So who is the... Uh... Okay, uh, he is this guy. Okay, so he, he now he is uh, with Russians? Okay, that's interesting. He's, uh, okay, so that's that's good to know. My previous guy is with, the, with his, I think he has solved his problem with his former enemies. And, or maybe he was uh, being friendly with them as well before. So they don't, don't care about him in this map. House 11 here is just small house controlling Sweden at the moment so the only war that I'm sure is happening is a war between a Gojikan and the house 14 and that's it and also another update in the news I heard I heard a rumor about some other players who are really upset with Firefly they have gone and they have made their own server I just heard it I don't I haven't seen anything yet but uh, that's that's the rumors and I want to dig more on that hopefully I can uh, find what's going on and then let you know as well so that's all for now this is the state of my map in the day 14 thank you for watching and until the next one